Hey, what's going on, guys? Tainted Epic here with a uh, with a gameplay video of uh, Johnny Gargano, Johnny Wrestling. He is the technician focus. Uh, uh, we're gonna be looking at his first uh, four star move set. It's the uh, the Gar the Gargano Escape. It's a submission. Play seven uh, submission gem and do thirteen. 13,000 down for 7 turns by submission gem or on the gem board. Remain the submission gem, turn into expert gem. The second move that the second move is going to be the gem in C-plus. Do 40,000 damage and make 5 random gems into green gem. Then the third one we're going to be looking at is going to be the reverse Frankensteiner. Uh, do a 19,000 damage and choose run road to make into 2 turn countdown gems that will make 3 random gems into green gem. So, basically what you want to, uh, I'm trying to let me show in the video, is it's move set is, is okay, but it's very board dependent when it comes to, uh, to getting green gems. Uh, but yeah, so you're basically going to be using, you're going to get this fed up, you get the stub, and then you got to hope, if you time it right, for the two, the two turn countdown gem to break, to, uh, when the countdown gem ends, uh, you're hoping all those green gems will hit the X break and you blow up the board. That's kind of like the idea. Uh, for uh, for the interact, I'm 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 doing my best to try to beef this up a little bit, but uh, but I'm going with Regal for the stub damage and the extra turn. Uh, I'm going with King for the uh to start the blue. I'm going with, uh, I keep getting this wrong, it's actually, uh, Aqua J Uso, not Aqua Jimmy. So I finally, I finally corrected myself. Uh, obviously I'm boosting the green, uh, the submission damage. This is, uh, is the submission damage, uh, build. Uh, I think we're gonna, let's go out here and see what we can do. Um, I, I got some criticism that uh, I've been using, uh, class advantage. I've, uh, so I'm gonna go against the trickster so that the craft advantage over me. So let's go ahead and go out here. Uh, actually, what I want to do here, uh, uh, first, uh, do want to show that, uh, probably the best plate for this move set is probably gonna be the, um, it's probably gonna be the honky tonk blues. So we'll probably just pop that on there for now, for this move set. Um, I'm running by single single set fury, and uh, let's go out here and see what we can do. Now, if you don't have Regal, you can use uh, Amaha Alley, or if you don't have him, you can use Striker Austin three sixteen or Bobby Striker Lachi or Tact Angle for the boost step damage. Alright, so we want to put this somewhere where it's not going to get broken. And unfortunately, the board this is probably going to be the best spot for it. Um, obviously, we want to break the green. I got really good with the board that time. So, let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Okay, let's, let's drop the stub. It's just all ready, ready to go. We're going to try to place the... Uh, the just to mention, uh, or whatever doesn't get broken will be the, uh, F the X break. Now, theoretically speaking, I probably should have dropped another cat another row cat down. And that's probably my mistake right there. So not too bad, but and um, but I could have did a little. I could have made that just a little hair bit better, but. That's why there's unfortunate things that happen. Uh, let's see if we can break any goons. Maybe we did. Okay, as you can see, the honky tonk blue that started filling up my blue. Um, we are going to let uh, let's break another goon. Okay, so we're loaded up, ready to go. We're gonna drop another cat down. Now we're gonna drop now we're gonna do a stub and we'll cover one of them up. So the rhythm is that it's very, very board dependent. 
So look, now if you do have the Honky Tonk Blues played, it can help you. Recycle. But it's really not that good. As you can see now, the best part about this is I do have some green. And there you go. So you basically you're relying on the uh, on the expert gems and the green gems on the board to do your uh, gem damage. So unfortunately, like I said, it's really not that good. But you know, everybody, you know, I said. It's not a bad move set. I can't really just spend too much about it. Alright, the second one we're gonna do is uh, we're taking out the reverse Frankensteiner. And we're gonna do the uh, roll up kick. Okay. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. We're gonna be doing the side kick. I'm sorry. Uh, the side kick. Uh, we're gonna pull out our king. And then we're gonna bring in our uh, steel. Actually, no, we'll keep King on. Um, you can you can focus on um, the sub damage, or you can focus on the uh, the green damage uh, on green gem damage. So I'll run it with the sub with the sub uh, uh, damage, and then I'll I'll run it with the green gem damage. And you guys can decide which one you think will be the best. And you guys can let me know in the comments below. Okay, so. Okay, that worked, okay. We got a little, we got a bit of a break there. Okay, so we will let, uh, let's hit the sub first. Get some of those expert gems on, on the board. And let's see if we can get lucky and uh, blow the board up. Wow, really? Okay, so let's, uh, let's drop, let's do the German T-Plex. Okay, not very good there. Alright, uh, let's break them, uh, let's use this and break all the, uh, expert, uh, gems. And see how we can recycle. Okay, we did an okay recycling job. Obviously, it could have been better. But we did get the uh, sidekick uh, loaded. So we'll go ahead and we're going to destroy one green and three blues. Now so will get the stub ready. Uh, we will roll this again. And there you go. I thought I liked that move set better than the first one. And it, uh, it's a little bit more uh, re uh, reliable. But let's try it again. And then this time we're going to focus on the uh, on the green gem damage. So let's, uh, let's take we go out. We're going to bring in uh, Technician Booker T. We're at a percentage uh, green gem damage. We'll keep King on. Uh, I'm going to bring in Hall of Fame China for both. And then I'm going to bring in uh, uh, Showboat Luger. If you do not have Hall of Fame China and you have Showboat Lu uh, Luger, you can bring in uh, Showboat Lacey instead. Uh, the Showboat Lacey that purple and green. So you're mainly focusing on the green. So you should be good. Alright, let's get back out here again. And I will see which one's better. Either the sub build or the gem damage build. Okay, I got a really nice board there. Okay. Uh, we'll definitely take that. Definitely a uh, nice little set of damage there. Alright, let's uh, let's drop our stub. 
Okay, there's one more fire. There's one more uh, set I want to do. Uh, it is gem. Uh, I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. Is uh, you can uh, boost more gems. Uh, have more gems on the board. Okay, he blocked that. I'm not very happy about that. Him being a trickster, I was expecting he was going to probably dodge at least a few times. Okay, let's try to do the C plus again. Okay. We got the leg drop, which is not, that's making me a little nervous. What was it? We almost got him down, so... Okay. Oh, right, not bad. I was expecting a lot more damage than that. Uh, let's go ahead and destroy some gems. It doesn't matter where you put her, because he's already in the danger zone. Uh, there is one more, one more thing I want, uh, with this thing move that I wanted to show. Um, let's see. It's, it's really more to, uh, boost the blue move up a little bit. Uh, with, uh, to boost the German suplex. Uh, take out, uh, King Booker. And if you have Razor of AOP, you have, uh, he has the, uh, to generate four gems that will create four more green gems. It will make the boost up and down. We'll leave everything up like that. Now, we were taking a slight hit in, uh, in the gem damage. But we're giving us to have a better shot of, uh, at the board. Of breaking the, uh, the blue gem. Plus, because I have about 9k. He adds plus one S to, uh, MP to blue move. Which means my blue move is ready to roll first turn. There you go, that worked out pretty good. There we go. Let's drop the stub. Alright, let's go ahead, let's do the two plus again. Now, if you don't have Razor, uh, I did, uh, did use uh, Technician Booker T to uh, boost your, uh, the, to boost your uh, green gem damage. So, I know not everybody has Razor, because he was like extremely rare. Wow, he almost, he almost kicked out. 24 left. So, and then I did forget to, uh, you can, if you have Eyeball, you can use him for this move set as well. If you don't have Hall of Fame China, you can, uh, and you have Eyeball, uh, you can use him instead. He'll boost the green move a little bit, but he, but you can also choose one as the gem to destroy. Again, it's comes down to who you have, or uh, who's on your roster. Alright, so the next uh, move that we're going to be looking at is another four star. Uh, we're going to be looking at the middle rope diving flatliner. Uh, then we're gonna uh, we're gonna keep the German two plucked here, and then we're gonna do the reverse Frankenstein. Uh, everything's uh, pretty much starting to stay the same, but nothing's very uh Austria. Yeah, we'll try with this new set. Uh, we're gonna take out King, 
I know we're gonna bring in uh took the woods. And then we can take him out if you want. Remember you're focusing on blue gem damage for this. For 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 uh, blue gem, uh for generate if you have NFT stealth, you can use him. That'll boost the uh, the purple move. Uh you'll we'll probably have a better chance getting the uh the blue mood filled up. Uh if you don't have for some reason you don't have NFT uh stuff, uh there's really not a whole lot of option. I would just focus on uh either blue gem damage or uh green gem damage. So I will keep everything out the same here. Uh you know what? I'm gonna try I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna take out Luger and I'm gonna bring in um Let's see. Uh, blue gem damage to uh, help boost the uh, the purple move. Uh, let me take Razor out. Uh, bring in uh, NFT uh, Seth. I thought I already did that. Apparently I did not. In this move set, while he is technician, you kind of focus a little bit more on blue gem damage just because of the moves. So there you go. So we're going to hit this first. Okay, got a nice crit. Everything got loaded up. Uh, we're going to hit the Frankensteiner. Put it somewhere that you hopefully won't get broken. And uh, no matter what I do here, it's going to get broken anyway. Uh, drop the German suplex. And yeah, it was, wasn't very effective. Again, which is where we, uh, the Honky Tonk Blues Plate comes in handy. So, unfortunately, there's no green for me to break, so I need to break more blue. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, that's not bad. Now, like I said, you can, you can boost that with the, uh, green gem damage if you want to. That's up to you. So it's very, very it's up to you. Uh, he is a technician, so you probably would want to focus on green gem damage. I was just trying to see uh, if the blue gem damage, blue gem damage, would make any difference. And apparently, it kind of did a little bit. But overall, green gem damage, green gem damage is the way to go. All right. So next move that we're gonna be looking at is. This is my personal favorite, which is the one I use for every, for whenever I use them. Uh, let's see. You can run this one or two ways. There's a couple of uh, variations if, if you can. Uh, this is, I use this one a lot. Uh, so we're going to take out NFT stuff. Uh, we're going to put, uh, we want to boost green gem damage as much as possible. Because you want to boost this purple moves up here. So we're going to bring back in uh, Technician Booker T. Uh, take him out. Uh, we don't really need an MP, uh, MP trainer. Um, you can bring in King. I'm not going to do that. But you guys can if you'd like. Uh, we want to focus on green gem damage. Uh, we got 20% there. We have a flat. We have a other uh, green, green gem damage do I have? Uh, do, 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 do
Uh, Robo, that's to kind of be expected. Uh, let's do the suplex. Let's see if we can get some uh, green gems on the board. Okay. Let's see if we can take them out. And that's all she wrote. So, let's see if we can uh, attempt a pin. So, let's see. Boom, boom. Alright, not yet. Well, we should be able to get him on the next turn. Of course, how you can get that stupid, uh, no, no pinball move. And of course, you thought you'd use the, uh, the finger poker doom. Alright, there we go. So this new set is basically very dependent on the uh, green gems on the board when the match first start. It's kind of like making a making a making a first impression, so to speak. Uh, now you can swap out. Um, you could. Take out your, all your uh, one of these uh, gem gem damage trainers and bring in uh, like someone that can generate uh, uh, five random gems into green gems, like Razor, for example. I personally like this better just because I'm focusing on this damage here. Um. So yeah, so that's the move that I I pretty much for the most part use. Uh, another variation I do use is uh, I uh, swap out the cat down sometimes, and when I do the uh, and I would do the stub. So Sorry about that. Uh, apparently, I accidentally turned the TV on. But anyway, sorry about that. Uh, but anyway, so you can run this move set as well. Just to help. Uh, probably you can probably sacrifice one. Uh, the boot the stub if you want, or you can leave it like this. Uh, I will run it like this move set here, and, I'm gonna see, and then you guys can determine which one you think will be the best. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good there. Nice little board placement there. And he kicked that. So, so you can do that too. That's a nice little, uh, a nice little vent. And you're not relying on, you're not worrying about the, uh, the AI uh, breaking all the countdown gems that are on the board, but say when you have them in the stub. All right, uh, we'll do. We can try it with the uh, the reverse Frankenstein. We can try it. I uh, we'll try it and see what happens. Uh, like I said, you can either boost your uh, green gem damage with this move set, or you can boost your uh. Yo, uh, green stub. Personally, I wouldn't worry too much about boosting the stub because the stub is not that strong. The purpose of using his stub is to keep his, um, to keep his, uh, MP down low. So, let's put this green here. Let's drop the cat down gem. Okay. Well, let's see what we can come up with here. Okay. Obviously, he's gonna break the purple. We call. I think we all kind of figured that out. Match over. Drop your stub. Doesn't matter where you land it, cause he's in the danger zone. 
Match over. Alright, so that's pretty much it for that, like I said. I mean, it really comes down to, uh, you can either focus on gym damage, or you can focus on, uh, on sub damage. Alright, so the last moveset we're gonna be looking at is the 5 star moveset. Uh, it is the, uh, trip, uh, the triple green. Uh, we're gonna focus, uh, we're gonna take out one and bring in, uh, Jewish Animal Steel. Uh, we're not, what, this one is, is I think, we be a little bit more reliant on, um, I think it doesn't really matter. Um, you can focus, again, you can focus on either, uh, Green Gem, or you could, or if you have Showboat Bailey, you can do that, boost that up a little bit. And you can focus on Green Gem damage, or however you want it. I mean, there is a little bit of, um... You do have a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, gap gap uh, variation of its of its move set. It's just a matter of what you personally prefer. I personally were going for this, and then uh, to have a little bit of both, have a uh, boosted um, the stub damage, and I'm doing the uh, gem damage at the same time. So green stub and and, and green gem try to combine best of the both world. Trying to find that happy bound. Okay, so. Now the reason I put this, this means, this means that it's really only effective for anyone that gets, uh, get Trickster or anyone who uses purple, for purple gem damage. So we're gonna hit this. Alright, for now, when he try, he's gonna try to break purple. And he's not gonna be able to do much damage to me because it, it's been reduced. So now we need to try to see if we can break a green. We only need one. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's break this black here. Alright, here we're going to use this. And we're going to break green. All we're worrying about is breaking green gems. So now we're going to uh, drop the stub. You can also use the, um, the uh, familiar plate. Uh, if uh, to break blue to, to uh, gen to, uh, break three blues and generate, uh, three green MP, you could use that plate if you want. That plate, to me, is a little bit more rare. So now that not everyone has that plate. But if you do have that plate, you, you can use it, uh, you can use that for a substitution for this. This will probably, if you do decide to run this moveset, uh, that's probably going to be the plate you're going to need. You will, you will more likely need that, uh, that plate to help recycle. Recycle better, so to speak. Especially, especially if you get an unlucky board where there's no green on, if there's no green on the board, yeah, you're going to want a little bit of luck. And there you go. Two, All right, guys, uh, that'll do it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and if you like, uh, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, it, it's free to you, and it helps me out tremendously. All right, guys, take it easy.